the brand new BMW M4 CSL. That's insane. Yes, guys, welcome back to a new vlog. We are here at the Silverstone F1 circuit because we are going to go and watch qualifying. This is insane. It's crazy, crazy busy. We've already seen some awesome cars and uh, the Aston Martin um, HQ is over there as well as Lotus in that corner over there. And we've seen a couple cool cars on our way here as well, such as a Vanquish Segato, Aston Martin Vantage, AMG GTR, a few other nice bits. But yeah, we're only gonna do the Saturday for qualifying because we don't actually have um, race tickets because we've been kindly sponsored <laughs> by McLaren. Um, uh, well, we had tickets for yesterday, Friday, but I mean, we were busy, so we couldn't come through. So we're gonna be on Saturday. And uh, we obviously can't get race day tickets because they all sold out and it's pretty expensive as well. But I mean, we're just gonna be here, take it all in and just uh, see what the vibe is about. Hectic, that's the brand new Lotus Electra. What, didn't that just, just come out? That's insane, that's that electric SUV from Lotus. Oh my word. That's the Vanquish Segato we saw on the highway, that's crazy. We've literally just, just entered the circuit now and I'm sure there are so many crazy cars hanging around that, I'm, that we'll come across. But the weather is looking a bit grim. Supposedly it is supposed to rain, so uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But what a vibe, I mean, look at this. What a vibe. Got this SF90 coming through. Uh, and then we've also got a few cars over here. Got this Huracan. I don't know what what that sound in the background is. Sounds pretty insane. But yeah, I mean, we're gonna see so many cars parked around here as well, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna take you guys through our experience. I don't really have a plan for the vlog, so stay tuned. Who knows how crazy it might get. Got a red trio over here with that M3, this 599 with the cream interior, and this uh, Lotus over here, which is quite nice. Lovely Grigio 296 coming through over here. The brown interior, lovely spec actually. Lovely color on that GT3 Touring. It's like ochre and metallic or something. So a lot of people are waiting along here. I'm assuming drivers and stuff are coming through. I'm not too sure if we'll actually see any. Well, Daniel Ricardo is in that marquee. <laughs> That's quite crazy. There goes George. George Russell. So we've got Carlos Sainz driving a 296 over there. That's pretty cool. Casual Valtteri Bottas. And we also just missed uh, Mick Schumacher as well. Yeah, so quite a few drivers and uh, team members are coming through over here, which is pretty cool. Checo Perez. Here's this brand new Lotus Electra again. Got Carlos signs coming through again. Yo, Charles Leclerc. Got this Bentley Super Sports. You don't see too many of these. How's it, Mika? Hey, Johnny Herbert. Got this Alpine coming through. Esteban Akon. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's that new uh, A110R as well. Sure. Yeah, that was Esteban. Yeah. That is a stunning spec on the STO. Love that. So uh, I think the historic F1 cars are on the track at the moment. Not too sure if you're going to see them. Yeah, I mean, we were quite competitive in those years, so I guess. Oh, the sound of this place is unreal.
So we've got a few show cars over here at the uh, official merchandise store, like this Aston Martin, that uh, Ducati over there, but I'm more interested in this McLaren. I think this is the GT4 variant, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's a 620R. I think this is the actual track car. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But yeah, looking, looking so good. Yeah, definitely think it's the track car. Good. Um, obviously, had a long night last night, so uh, it's good to be up awake again and uh, and listening to the the meetings and stuff. But yeah, it's great to be here. Obviously, would love to be driving, but um, <laughs> it is, uh, this position is great too. Sounds like they'd love to see you driving too. But what is exactly your role at Mercedes? Can you just describe exactly what you were doing last night with the car and so on? Yeah. Um, so yeah, last night I was in the sim. I did the overnight race support, which means that uh, I was in the sim from around 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. this morning. Um, and up the top of my legs this morning at night. So it's been a short night for sure, but uh, it's hopefully worth it. And we have obviously, um, yeah, the FP3 to go and then uh, getting into qualifying. So hopefully we made the right work and, and the right steps to, to push the team into the right direction. <laughs> Yeah, practice three has just begun here at Silverstone and uh, yeah, we're just going to try and find a nice spot for us to sit down. But yeah, it's crazy busy as you can see. I mean, look at all those people. Sure. Um, I'm not too sure how much more I'm going to be able to film because look at that weather. It's just all coming in now. So yeah, practice and uh, qualifying is going to be very interesting. Save, just missed that. Yes, doing it for the crowd. Yeah, so that is uh, practice three over. Next is qualifying and uh, that'll be that. It's pretty cool to see these cars go around and to actually hear them as well. So much louder and so much bigger in person. It's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. So qualifying has officially begun. After this, we're gonna go to our accommodation. So, uh, yeah, this might be some of the last few bits of to see. Looks like the sun has finally come out, so it's going to be some proper hot laps now. Yes, he well done, Norris. Let's see if he can hold it.
There we go, Verstappen takes it. So that is pretty much that. Unfortunately, we're going to miss Q1 because uh, we need to get back to our accommodation, which is quite far away. Um, sorry, Q3, uh, the last qualifying session. Um, but yeah, just going to show you guys a few cars parked up. I mean, for example, we've got that Archira there and Aroma over there. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go towards the exits. Maybe we'll see a few cars, but then that will be that, gents. We've got that uh, 600LT Spider parked up over there as we are about to take our bus back. But yeah, that is pretty much it, gents. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So, I mean, my takeaway for the F1 was that the cars are much bigger than they seem to be. They aren't as loud as I thought. And um, what else? Oh, well, if you get general admission, just know that you're gonna have a tough time finding a good spot to view the cars. So we actually found a pretty good spot at the end of the day. And uh, I'm happy, you know, got to see the F1 cars, got to see all the drivers. Happy days. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Cheers.